Very good evening my friends, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So I just wanted to mention that yesterday Monday was actually a tough day for the premium group members because actually uh, sadly we had to close uh, our signals in loss. Uh, actually the market uh, went uh, crazy a little bit. Uh, the CAD uh, was hard to analyze and anyway uh, I just wanted to confirm to you that such days are extremely rare in our uh, signals group and to confirm that you can see here that we have apologized to the members and we have offered them three extra free days to all of our premium group members. This is also to confirm that such bad days are very rarely happening here and unlike other signals providers if we faced a, such a bad day we give our members a free days in their membership in hope to recover their losses. This is actually one of the things that we are very good at I think that we are very honest to our members and if we had a rough day in our signals we actually apologize and we offer extra free days to our members and just to confirm to you my friends that usually extreme trader doing very well please check out our signals that we have sent today tuesday thankfully almost all of them are in very good profit pound gpy hit 60 pips of profit eurocad 60 pips of profit and pound gpy 30 oh sorry 60, uh, 60 pips of profit as well and thankfully the members <coughs> they have recovered the losses from yesterday uh, this guy here he's saying thank you Angela I have recovered my losses from yesterday and quitting for today early so indeed the members were able to recover and that is exactly forex my friends this is the signals that that we have sent to the pound JPY and actually uh, that is what I wanted to show you my friends that this is, this is the reality of forex uh, sometimes we can have bad days but thankfully so many other days will be very profitable and for that I'm very glad and thankful if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so by taking a quick look uh, on the uh, DXY index currency uh, sorry currency index we can see that the pair has already managed exactly as I told you my friends last week uh, this is the previous resistance uh, sorry the previous resistance uh, sorry the previous support and the US dollar is gonna retest that level and then it's gonna continue the fall and I'm certainly sure due to the weakness that the dollar, dollar is facing right now I believe that the dollar is gonna keep falling all the way eventually to hit the level 91 uh, dollar or the price of 91 therefore going back to the current chart I can expect actually okay let me just uh, let me just correct this uh, that was the signal that I have sent uh, on the weekly analysis video to buy the pound USD we can see that the pair has already made attempt number one and notice that the pair has reversed exactly at the level I have given to start the buy and then today uh, afternoon the pair has made another strong bearish momentum uh, attempt to break out from the support level look at that the candle actually can fool the traders it can trick you it can make you think that this is a, a bearish breakout candle but thankfully eventually this was just a fake breakout and the weakness of the dollar is actually moving the market right now and we can see that the pair has actually reversed and I believe it's gonna continue the rise at least to hit that previous uh, resistance level right there so what can we expect right now from the pound USD actually if we go to the one hour let's go to the 30 minute time frame on the 30 minute time frame we can notice that we are having right here a key support level right here and this is the key support level and we can see that the pair has already reversed right on that level so what we can expect actually is that the pound USD is going to continue the rise immediately I doubt if it might make us another attempt because as I said the weakness of the dollar is controlling the market and the dollar is showing a, st um, a strong bearish momentum right now therefore the pound is actually gonna rise and I think it's gonna happen right away if we are lucky enough and we can see that there will be a, a second attempt uh, in that scenario to be honest with you if we notice here that there was a second attempt I believe that this means uh, some weakness in the pound therefore we can expect from the market to fall down again 
to our entry point and then it's gonna continue the rise however i really highly doubt uh, doubt that to happen and let me just tell you something here i just want to be accurate as much as possible uh okay as i said the pound usd most likely is gonna continue the rise right away however if it has made the breakout from that support it might continue the fall let's say to hit that previous resistance level right here and then it's gonna continue the rise not to mention of course that this level is gonna be actually let me try that yes it's gonna be a valid uh, support trend line therefore let me just uh, try to fix the signal if it's possible the pound usd if you have missed the entry from the weekly analysis video you can buy it again from 1.30309 all right and in that case our safe zone is gonna be changed actually to be up to here let me just try to see actually no uh ah okay sorry i ha i forgot to increase it right here yes okay should be until that previous support level exactly right here so that's gonna be our new safe zone let me really delete the previous one Ex oh shit man okay like that exactly so that's gonna be our new safe zone and our new take profit level is gonna be right here the resistance at 1.31593 that's gonna be our new take profit level and hopefully it's gonna work very well let's move now to the AUD USD as you can see I'm very proud of my analysis to be honest my friends because look at that the AUD USD has reversed exactly on the same level I have given on 0.70823 I take full credit for that signal it was very accurate it's just not just the correct direction it's also the accuracy I mean I don't know I'm just a speechless man I'm just very proud of myself <laughs> I don't know sorry but I'm just very happy for that so right now we can see that the AUDUSD is running in 73 pips of profit so what we can expect next from the AUDUSD now moving back to the four <coughs> to the four hour chart we can notice that the AUDUSD has already reversed on the strong support level on 0 0.71275 it has already made a strong attempt to break out from the level however the next uh, candle on the 4 hour chart indicates a strong bullish momentum and the pair most likely is gonna continue the rise um, similar to the pound USD I highly doubt that the pair is gonna fall down at this point therefore let's move to the 30 minute time frame so we can see it more in detail if possible so by looking at the fifth uh, th sorry uh, 13 minute time frame we can notice that right here and by the way i was looking at this week here we can notice that we had this strong key support level which has become already a resistance and later on it has kept the position as a support the only scenario i can expect from the AUD USD right now is it might reverse a little bit bounce on that previous support and then gonna continue the rise uh, I highly doubt at all that the AUD USD can fall at this point. I think by tomorrow morning we can see a uh, continuation and the rise for the AUD USD. It's gonna rise for another 60 pips and hit our take profit level. So AUD USD signal is still valid as it is. Uh, please don't close it. And if you have missed uh, the entry, you can open another buy order if it's possible. I, d I really don't know if it's possible to be honest on 0 0.71493 and let me see it's difficult to give a safe zone in this scenario my friends because the signal is still uh, running from the weekly analysis video therefore we can only rely on let me just show you on the car on the previous support right here so in case you have missed the entry that is gonna be our new safe zone just in the zone of that support zone right here uh, that zone is gonna be ranging for almost for almost 42 pips uh, let, oh man I deleted it all right let me just fix it again exactly like that and the take profit level is gonna remain the same 
and yes as i said my friends that's gonna be our new entry if you have missed the entry for the aud usd to buy from 0 0.71493 let's now move to the usd cad the usd cad uh, has reversed also fantastic it has reversed from the, the level i have mentioned look at that that is what i call a perfection in giving signals amazing alhamdulillah i'm very happy for that so uh, let me just uh, show you that the usd cad is running right now in almost of 90 pips of profit and actually it's uh, very close to the tech profit level let's see what we can expect actually from the signal if in case it has reached the tech profit level I need to move all these annoying all right texts all right good now let's let me let me tell you something if we see any bearish breakout candle from the trend right here uh, we can see that the market is already uh, making the bearish uh, break out from that trend line therefore if the market is actually gonna break out from that support we can expect from the USD cat to continue the fall to hit the support level on 1.32107 uh, to be honest uh, uh, frankly speaking i don't see any good entry for the usd cad if you have missed it uh, the only good entry we can expect from the usd cad let me just uh, show you let me get rid of that and let me just draw for you a new safe zone because we are going to start shorting again on that previous resistance level right here so the safe zone is going to be ranging for actually that's quite uh, low all right for almost 40 pips that's fair enough exactly like that and like this now uh, what i'm expecting again from the usd cad is if it, uh, that it's it's actually going to continue the fall until it reach the take profit level and it's going to hit that previous support level after that it's going to bounce a little bit uh, and that previous resistance right here is going to keep its position as a resistance and then the market is going to continue the fall so if in case you have missed the entry for the short of usd cad you can sell again at 1.33481 all right and that's gonna be your safe zone and let me just uh, show you back on daily candles oh my god it's so messy man where is our tech profit level is gonna be uh this is the previous uh, cell i think right let's delete it all right go back to the four hour chart uh, sorry guys, it's gonna be really messy here. Uh, the tech profit level is gonna be on 1.32107. Please be sure you are marking it very well. That is the previous support level right here. And that is gonna be our new tech profit level if in case the breakout is gonna happen from the support on 1.33315. Moving right now to the USD, to the Euro USD. Uh, the euro usd uh, actually has a very similar scenario to the aud usd uh, look at that the signal has also reversed perfectly fine from the exactly same level i have given in the weekly video and right now the euro usd is running in almost 82 pips of profit now actually if you have missed uh, the entry for the signal we can actually fix it now since we can see that we are having right here a previous resistance and we can see that this resistance has already made another attempt so we are having right here a resistance number one so we can expect from the market to reverse right here on resistance number two and if that happens we can expect the market to fall a little bit more so that strong key support level is gonna keep its position and then the market is gonna continue the rise therefore that's gonna be exactly where we are going to start again buying the uh, euro usd if in case you have missed the signals my friend and that's gonna be our new safe zone let me see for how many pips yes 52 that's totally fine just like that so we can start again buying the euro usd if in case you have missed it only in 1.17699 again if you are if you have already bought the the pair 
please keep your trade running and keep your position because you have a perfect entry um, I'm just sending this signal for those who have missed uh, the entry for the buy of, of the euro USD and therefore we can expect my friends that the pair might reverse exactly at that previous support so we are looking for almost 132 pips of profit keep the trade running until it hit that previous resistance right here let's move to the USD GPY USD GPY has also reversed exactly at the level I have given uh, it just went a little bit above it however it has still reversed on it and right now is running on 47 pips of profit now the thing I want to say here is uh, we, c we still have a chance to enter the USD GPY if in case again you have missed uh, the entry of the signal so let me just show you my friends where we can expect the next uh, uh, cell to be opened is gonna be exactly right here exactly right here so we can expect from the pair to reverse for uh, like 10 pips only let's move to the 4 hour chart yes definitely actually actually you can start shorting right away uh, USD GPY for the short right away sell now sell now on 105.715 uh, the pair is facing a very strong bearish candle and I, I highly highly doubt that the pair is actually gonna be able to exceed uh, to rise above that level unless there was some unexpected news about the, uh, com the commercial war between USA and China it might actually affect the pair especially it is USD GPY so therefore please keep your eyes on the news uh, most likely the pair is actually gonna continue the fall immediately and it's gonna keep falling until it hit that previous support level right here so uh, the take profit level is still valid for the USD GPY nothing has changed and actually if you have not yet entered the signal you can do it right away USD CHF USD CHF was the only one which has actually went inside my zone my safe zone but thankfully did not exceed it as you can see so therefore we can see that the pair has actually created here a head and shoulders pattern we can see that here we have having head and shoulders pattern and we can see that here that previous support has become already a new resistance and therefore USD CHF is gonna continue the fall now if you have also missed the entry for selling the USD CHF you can actually start short it again right here let me just be sure exactly right here uh, so that's gonna be our new safe zone and it's gonna be ranging from that previous support until the resistance right here so we are looking for a safe zone of almost 40 pips exactly like that and I, again I really doubt that the pair is going to be able to reach that uh, the edge of the safe zone so USD CHF is good again for the short on 0 0.91479 again if you have already sold the pair please keep your trade running and if you have missed the entry you can sell again at that previous resistance because we are having right here a strong resistance a key resistance level and most likely is going to actually keep its position as the, uh, after the reverse if the, uh, at the reversal if it's gonna happen and the take profit level is just gonna remain the same at that previous support on 0.90731 hopefully it's gonna be very good signal and hopefully it's gonna bring a lot of profit for everyone now the gold I have to talk about the gold right now now the gold and again I'm very 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 proud of my analysis and if I'm not mistaken it was against uh, the analysis of another traders or another professional uh, uh, traders who analyze the market however I'm very happy because of my analysis was correct and it was actually based on the logic how the market reacts to the levels so we can see that the pair has reversed exactly not once but twice at the entry level I have given on 1963 and the gold went all the way straight to the take profit level I mentioned and it has reached a historic uh, price of $2,000 and it's still going right now it's on $2,007 amazing what's happening to the gold right now so the signal has went actually in 363 
uh, pips of profit I really hope you guys have entertained the pips uh, of the signal and have made really a lot of profits out of it so now what's gonna happen next please pay attention the price 2000 has been retested and the market seems to be able to continue the rise now if we are, if I'm not mistaken if we go to the daily candles sorry to the four hour chart we can expect if we draw Fibonacci retracement like that we can expect from the pair to actually continue the rise until it reach 2050 I don't think we can see it right here on 261.8 so it might rise for another um, 300 pips and I think it's gonna be reaching the two sorry 2030 2030 therefore and by drawing Fibonacci like that and seeing that the zone oh, sorry the level of uh, the price 2000 has been retested again and we need to wait this candle to close actually this is the four hour chart candle this, this is the four hour candle and it still has two hours 42 minutes for the closure now actually I cannot wait for the candle to close I need to post this video right away however I have to mention something if this candle has closed in a price action that look like like what it is right now like this most likely that means that the pair is unable to break out and the next candle is gonna be full red and is gonna fall down to retest the broken resistance on uh, 1891 however if this candle eventually has closed like that how can I say that now if it, if it has closed like a full a full body candle like that so if the candle closed like that let me just sh like that okay that means that the candle is actually gonna continue the rise because this is usually a good price action for the continuation and that means that the pair is gonna continue rising until it reaches the price of 2030 therefore um, it's really hard to give the analysis now for the gold my friends because as you can see it has reached as I said a historic level uh, that it has never reached before and so many analyzing uh, are happening now for the gold from so many traders uh, no one can tell exactly what will gonna happen we all can hope that the pair is gonna continue the rise as I said to the level 2030 and I think it's gonna reverse at that point However, I really doubt, to be honest with you, from uh, what's happening to the gold right now, uh, I really doubt that it can reverse. I doubt that we can sell it right now. And I strongly advise uh, the buy for the gold. However, I just want everyone to have a good entry for the buy. Therefore, what we can do next with the gold? I just want everyone to be safe, as I said. Therefore, uh, we are going to have to wait for this uh, signal to be valid so i just i'm just based on the logic and my understanding of the markets how the gold or how, how the market usually reacts to the uh, breakouts i hope that the market actually gonna or sorry the candle is gonna close just like this so if we can see that the price action uh, of the candle has closed like that like a cross that means that the next candle is gonna be bearish candle and in that case we can wait for the market to reach that previous resistance level and then we can start the buy again buy again at the retest of that previous support on 1987.81 and if that happens we can keep the trade running again to hit that previous uh, resistance level where the market has reversed therefore buy the gold if in case you have uh, missed this signal my friend uh, buy again on 1987.81 again my friends i'm telling you everyone this is only if in case you have missed entering the signal only if you have already entered then please keep it running because most likely you are having the best entry possible now for the safe zone unfortunately it's gonna be really really huge it's gonna be really huge it's gonna be less for almost 100 pips uh, please use uh, proper money management and be very wise about the lot size you are picking for trading the gold it's very critical at this point my friends really um, no one knows what will gonna happen 
nobody can expect because actually um, I was only expecting from the goal to, re to reach 2000 and then it might reverse however since it has exceeded the price of 2000 now we are going on the uncharted water as, as they, they are saying we don't know what will gonna happen we don't know how the market is gonna react to the level above 2000 all I can say is from technical view and from the weakness of the US dollar I believe that the market is gonna continue the rise to the level 2030 so that's gonna be our new signal if in case you have missed the entry uh, but again it all depends on how this four hour car candle closes uh, if it closes as a full bar then we can start the buy right away or we can start uh, buying at the exactly same level of 2000 so at the level of 2000 we can start buy again only if in case this candle has closed as a full bar or a strong bullish candle so I really hope this is, oh, by the way, this is uh, going to be our new tech profit level. Yeah, right here. Let's make it right here to be safe. So if in case the gold will, ri will rise, as I said, tech profit level is going to be on 2006.40. So again, my friends, uh, please be extra careful when you are trading the gold this week. It's very critical. Uh, signal and I really hope everything will be uh, going well uh, it's not like as the weekly analysis signal this is different right now please consider that right now it's different from the weekly analysis because as I said we are now swimming in the uncharted water so we have to be very careful how the gold is going to react to that level so in the end I really hope this is going to be a very profitable week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching